element of the right wing. Let the last man go to the channel with his leave. And by the neutrality of Belgium or the Netherlands? World power or downfall. CA is 12 days after mobilization end day. Brussels M19. French French are M28. And we will enter Paris at 11.30 to warn of M39. I send the best brains from the War College into the railway section. And the Russians? They won't be ready until 1916. Time's up. France admits no law with the offensive. Advance with all forces to attack the German army. France, her bugle sounding, her soldiers armed for glory, her will to conquer. An idea and a sword. Besides, they will attack Russia first. The Russian steamroller. We have a million and a half bayonets. Battle the bullets any day. Once in motion, we go roaming forward. Inexor. Inexor. Inexorably? Hey, the bar's open. Go and have a quick drink. You got snow in your boots. Well done. In the event of war, the Royal Navy will keep more than a million Germans busy. We shall disembark on a ten-mile strip of hard sand on the northern shores of Prussia and draw off more than awaited numbers for the fighting life. The overwhelming supremacy of the British Navy is the only thing to keep the Germans out of Paris. Yeah, yeah. On a point of order, sir, your plan seems to have little to come over the army. Look here. You soldiers are a pretty grotesque lot with your absurd ideas about war. Happily, you are heard. We could go right ahead and leave you to go fooling around in the boat. Have you got a plan? Of course. I thought so. Since 1871. 
Yeah, yeah, very good. Would you mind signing this, please? <sighs> this boy has been coming for a long time. Ah, good. And I'm very glad that you think so. Step out onto the pavement. I am a member of the Austro-Hungarian secret police. <laughs> and I am a member of the Soviet secret police. Ah, we had you liquidated yesterday. I arrest you for high treason. What about her? Good idea. I arrest you? <laughs> You said supplies could do the size for the Kaiser. This means war. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Special brought to the land war on Syria. Extra Russia mobilizes, Russia mobilizes.
great pity for many a civilian population who've lost everything, but they hate us. One of them fired at us. He was immediately taken out and shot. Yesterday, we were ordered to attack the enemy flank in a forest of beaches, but the enemy gunner saw us and opened fire. The men were done for. The shells fell like hail. Oh, 
Yeah. 
Germans think that the Germans are waiting to restore the last Poisson? We oui. damn it all! This is no way to conduct a conference. Uh, We're not under any obligation. <laughs> May I remind you, good gentlemen, that my country has already fallen. I should like to invite Britain and France while well, my country was holding the Germans at Liège and the Berg would have been over by now. Adieu, gentlemen. <laughs> well, whatever our cats can do, they'll do. Um, I have been entrusted by his Majesty. to help you in your hour of need.
Again. Oh, what's he doing? Volume to his lady love. Oh, blimey, not again. Yeah, third volume. My dearest, I waited for you for two hours last night at Hellfire Corner, but you didn't show up. Could it be you no longer love me? Signed, Harry Hotlips. Ooh, what's she like then? Lovely. Is she now? I bet she's got a nose like five inch shirt. Shut up, William, I'm trying to concentrate. Are you right for that paper again? Yeah, they don't seem to realise they're at the first of the wisest gazette. Here, do you want to hear what I've written? No. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, go on then. The wisest gazette, agony column. Do you believe good news in preference to bad? Do you think the war will be over by springtime? Have you got faith in our generals? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then you're suffering from that dread disease, optimism and should take seven days leave immediately. <laughs> or she takes ten. Yeah. Here, for one for me. Now the winter nights are drawn in. Wanted. Cure for trench feet. Rice. Corn. Black or white. Chill blames. And how about some letters and all? Put that in. Yeah, and how about some Christmas parcels and all? Put that in. <laughs> What's that with you? Got company? Oh, yeah. Last time I went to that D license station, mm. all they only shoved our iron down his trousers. I came out and one I went in with. Hey, listen. Yeah, they're copying it down round Wood tonight. No, that's still 60. No, not that. Listen. Well, what is it? Those no, well bastards in the next French. No, that's Jerry, that is. Then.
Hey, go in there. Hey, come here. I'm in this with you. Whoa. One yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. Don't, don't see you, Jerry. Got any more? Well, let you buy that. Oh.
England, do your duty. Send your men to enlist today. And you're an able-bodied group. Shall Moore a gamekeeper serve in you? If so, shouldn't he be serving his country? Is your best boy in khaki? If not, shouldn't he be? What did you do in the Great War, Daddy? Yourself some char. 
It's one's blood all over the place. No leave worried about it. It's some damn leg.
Tart Cider. Yes, I quite believe it. That's a flaw in his character and his weakness for the fair sex. Loses all sense of decency. I really thought. Yes, you know, I had to lend him two thousand pounds at all shot over a woman. Oh, good God, sir. And he was commander of my cavalry brigade at the time. It's a damn bad show, sir. Boring from the subordinates. Oh, appalling. John, you saw me snub Robertson just now. I did, Sir John. Uh, that's the way to treat him. Well, how can these men at the front, Douglas? Don't make my heart, sir. Just spoil it for fight. Oh, yes. It makes one feel so damn proud. A word in your right, dear Douglas. What do you think to this man's kitchen? Well, sir. Oh, the man's intolerable. He's behaving like a generalissimo now. He's only a damned politician. Yeah, with regard to that, sir, you know that he turns up in Paris in his uniform again. My God. There's no damn right to a uniform at all. I <laughs> think the Secretary of State for War. Oh, Hamlet. Well, it proves a few tricky points of protocol. Yes, what are we going to do about it? In my opinion, Douglas, that man's kitchen is more of an enemy to the BF than either Mopped or Wood. Uh, how did you scratch my head in kitchen cook? You told me to go to the South School of Entrance Examination. Duke of Cambridge. What? Friend of the families. Oh, yes, I heard the noise. Wave the formalities and let him in. French was a terrible intriguer. I could tell by his deceitful face. That is flabby. You've been soiled long enough, my dear. Now, well, number ten tomorrow. And a field marshal's job for you. My time. Forbidden 
contain a court martial from taking any cover in any shell hole or dugout. Their magnificent morale will cause the enemy to flee in confusion. I feel that every step I take is guided by the divine will.
Hey, Dad, want to know something? Yeah, what? They're burning corpses. They're glittering. Get away! Who is? The Germans. Read it in this morning's newspaper. Emma, Emma. Yeah? Why did you bust the F gun? Nein, was? She smelt some curse of the glittering. Really? Where? The Engländer. Es war die Reichung heute Morgen. Hey, Beth, do you want to know something else? Yeah. They say there's another big coup coming. Oh, God. Emma, Emma, man sagt noch bei Heinrich kommt. Das stimmt. Mein Gott. Edward!
losses were very heavy last night, sir. The Canadian Corps had very heavy if losses. If the sergeant steals your run, never mind. If the sergeant steals your run, never mind. Though he's just a drinking stop, let him have the bloody lot. If the sergeant steals your run, never mind. The 13th London were isolated and completely wiped out by their own crossbow. There must be no squeamish left over losses. Give orders to attack immediately. My boys, over the top!
now, brethren, tomorrow being Good Friday, let us hope that God will look kindly on our attack on Arras. Amen. Now, with the Lord's being from hymns ancient and modern, number 358, what, what he wins, what, what he <laughs>
Douglas, the snowball. Water and mud are increasing and becoming horrible. The longer days when they arrive will be most welcome, particularly for the officers who say that conditions are impairing their efficiency. But the other ranks don't seem to mind so much. Look out, we're all sitting on the hand, he's going under. Oh, he's going to old Fred. Where is old Fred? I don't know, I haven't seen him since his last quiet bell. Hang on, he's not sat under. No, no, he went sick. Uh, no, he went under. No, he went sick. He's not sat under, mate. I bet you're a fag, he went sick. No, don't be daft, you can't go sick here. You've got to live with your lungs, your liver, your life. Watch it, this is not so as a radio. Put that man on the charge, Paul Paul. The last one, I couldn't hear him. Everything points to a complete breakdown in enemy morale. Now is the time to hit him firmly and resolutely. I understand that the Prime Minister has been asking questions about my strategy. I can't believe that a British minister would be so ungentlemanly. September 17th, last school calling. A light breeze blew from the south. The weather in September. Last week, a one woman 
She got the smithereens. But there's no use worrying, you've got to carry on. Ah, never the plural, never the time, you know. Ah, you're a gotten, aren't you? I am, there's some right funny stuff going on there, too. There's many explosions. Wow. Oh, it makes you shiver. Ooh, it's enough to give you the willies, I tell you, I'd rather work in Munich. Hey, what's that there? Sixty-three, sixty-four, 
Thank you.